They, this team hasn't lost any belief. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. We're struggling right now. Uh, I think this team really believes. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's the feeling for you as you have kind of gone through this stretch? Yeah, not a good feeling. Um, definitely not a good feeling. You know, kind of the environment on the team. That's it that's feel right. You gotta, I would love us to run into the playoffs, uh, and we're not doing that right now. I, I really don't like that guy. All right, let's see here. The Bucks have lost four straight games and six of the past seven, including a loss to the Wizards without Kyle Kuzma. Someone please check on Giannis. This is no good, no good. Doc Rivers, man. man I need to do something. Tanasis, can you coach, man? Ooh, good question. This guy, man, this guy, Tanasis, get your stuff, man. We're going to New York. Coach is crazy, man. What, what, what is this? Yeah, no, no, this is crazy. No, we need to pray for him. He coaching for the other team now. You know what? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not quitting on Milwaukee. I'm not quitting on Milwaukee. As a matter of fact, I think I just quit on Milwaukee. Yeah, I don't know, dude. It's just like, you know, I, I, that's, a, that's just the type of scumbag that I am, but... I, it, it's it's all Doc Rivers' fault. I, I, it is. Cue the intro, please. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. I would love to grow this channel. All right, let's get on with the video. What's good, y'all? This is Alfonso Rose reporting. So I feel like the entire NBA community kind of called this. But as much of a piece of work that I am, I hate saying, I told you so. I, I hate it. I, I hate it. Granted, I feel like we expected it to be like some sort of bad result. We didn't expect it to be this bad. I, I can say that confidently. Doc right now is currently leading his fifth NBA team. It's been, I guess, fascinating in quotations to watch Rivers, who is 62 years old, try to settle in with the Bucks. He is currently the oldest head coach in the team's history, 54 year history. The Bucks right now are currently 15 and 17 under Doc Rivers. 15 and 17. And that is after starting 32 and 14 before his arrival. And if you look at the standings right now, they are barely clinging into the second seed in the Eastern Conference playoffs. Like, barely. But let's be honest. The Magic and Knicks are creeping up the Bucks as we speak. The Bucks could slide from the freaking second seed all the way down to the fifth seed. No, they did not. Oh, they <laughs> oh. Oh. Somebody call now. Giannis must be sick. Sick. This is probably one of the most talented teams he's ever had. And they are over here playing like the freaking Shanghai Sharks. Doc Rivers needs to be quarantined. He needs to be quarantined. How do you have two of the top five 75 players of all time, in their prime by the way, and you are below 500? This man is a plague everywhere he goes. He should be known as Doc 19 from now on. Like, like it, it's a plague, dude. It's a plague. Like, look at his history. Look at his history. Aside from that one year in 2008, what has he done? I, I just don't understand. I don't understand. The main symptom of a Doc 19 is that you sound like you swallowed a 3-1 to one lead. Now, I gotta get out there. I'm gonna go take some lozenges and get ready for the game. You know? Thanasis would have a better coaching record than freaking Doc. H have Matt Bafleur coach the Bucks. Half the Green Bay Packers coach, coach the Bucks. He's in the same zip code, dude. You know what I mean? Like he can just like, you know, I don't know, like drive 10 more minutes up to the freaking stadium and I don't know, just, just hold a clipboard. And it sucks because you know, I, I, I want to put my stupid feelings aside, but Giannis and Dame, like people were excited to see this duo. Two guys who were the alpha males of their team for a long period of time. Two guys who have been loyal to the soil until Damian Lillard <laughs> requested a trade last year. But you know what I mean. This was the perfect time for Damian Lillard to win it all. This was the perfect time for him. He has a top five player with him in his prime. Another all-star, by the way, in Middleton. But Middleton, I I'll get to him later. I'll get to him later. Coaching matters, folks. 
Coaching, let's take this as a lesson and learn from it. Coaching is imperative to not just the NBA, to any sport. It plays, you can have, and in this case, two top 75 players in NBA history who are still in their prime and still be dog water. That's how much coaching matters, folks. The Bucks lost seven of the Rivers' first 10 games. They then won six straight after the All-Star break, but then now they're slumping again. Rivers has had this job for merely two and a half months, and he already got his superstars bamboozled. After averaging a career-high 32.2 points per game last season, Dame time, Damian Litter, is down to 24.5 this season. But granted, I guess you can say that he had to take a step back because he has another freaking alpha dog in the room in Giannis. And I guess a third star in Middleton. Now, I'm not sure if y'all heard this or not, but you know me. When I dig in deep, I dig in deep, boys. Apparently, the Bucks had an intervention. They all gathered around. It looks like the top nine players in the rotation gathered around just to, you know, just to spew out their feelings. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, everybody nowadays likes to spew out their feelings. Um, and yeah, that, so they did this. But you know what? I wonder how that went. I wonder how that... We all know these freaking NBA kids had these player meetings all the time. Th this is how it probably went. When I came in to open up one morning, there you were with your head half in the toilet. Your hair was in the toilet water. Disgusting. I told you I had the flu. You're weak, you're out of control, and you become an embarrassment to yourself and everybody else. I can't even defend myself now? You got some balls, you know that? All of you. Honestly, I truly hope the players meeting was, I guess, successful. Because, I mean, the playoffs is right around the corner. As of the recording, the playoffs is 11 days away. All right, now let's get to Chris Middleton. Middleton, who inked a three-year, $93 million deal in the offseason, is having a bit of a down year as well. Granted, injuries have played a part. Let's not forget that. But the man is averaging 15 points per game, making $30-plus million a year. Granted, let's be honest now, he's actually averaging 15 points in a very efficient way. He's 49% from the field goal and 38% from the three. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. But you know what? The man is playing 27 minutes a game. I'm sorry. If I'm paying my freaking player 30 plus million a year, the man is going to play 30 plus minutes. 15 points, you are in freaking Corey Kispert range. They need more for Chris Middleton. Maybe he might be on a downhill. I mean, the man is 32, going on 33. I've never been one of those players who was ultra athletic or just athletic in period. The man is very gifted offensively though. He has a great touch on his shots, you know, but they need more. This scissor. Now Doc Rivers' predecessor, Adrian Griffin. Let's be honest, he was such a bad fit with the Bucks. Even though he went 30 and 13 with him, that record was not a true actual saying of what the record actually reflected because the Bucks were questioning everything with him from sets to rotations to scheme to identity I mean we all saw this when Giannis sat on the freaking bench for a breather and he and he was the one drawing, drawing up the plays Giannis was the one drawing up the freaking plays fast forwarding now I guess you can say there's been an improvement in ball movement and defense you know what I mean but something where Doc 19 has struggled mightily, has been offense. I, I wouldn't say mightily, has just been very inconsistent. I found this for you guys, the two glaring differences for the Bucks under Doc Rivers is that they are not offensive rebounding as well, and they are not getting to the foul line. They are actually shooting 6.5 less attempts under Doc Rivers. I, I guess you can say with that, with those stats in mind, is that they're not attacking mentally. They're not attacking the rim. They're settling for jumpers. Look, look, they lost to the freaking Wizards, Grizzlies, and Raptors. All three which should have been barbecue chicken. But for some reason, Doc let him off the hook. The gravity of the situation is this. He took over a job halfway through the season while having no reports with anyone in the team. It takes time to gain respect, 
trust. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like being forced to have your stepson freaking like you in two months. That's mission impossible. Let me know what you guys think. Can Doc Rivers and the rest switch it up in the playoffs? I hope so, but I could be wrong. I am a buffoon at the end of the day. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next report. Peace, y'all.